Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a video that I don't know if I've really filmed before, but um, I really enjoy watching these videos, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna film just a current favourites video and just show you all the bits I've been really liking. So yeah, as I said, I really enjoy watching these videos anyway, so let me know if you do like this video and I'll be sure to film some more. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right in. By the way, this shirt that I'm wearing is one of my favourite new shirts. That's exactly why I wore it for this video. Um, from Zara, really like it, but do size up if you decide to get it. This is a large that I'm wearing at the moment. And then I'm just wearing this kind of like unitard underneath like this um which is just from misguided first up i am just going to start with skincare because i feel like i do speak quite a lot on here about skincare but it really does take a lot for me to one change up my skincare even though i do like trying new bits i decide pretty quickly whether or not i'm going to stick with something so when i do find something new that i really like i'm obviously going to tell you about it so first up and it's from murad and this is their replenishing multi-acid peel so it's essentially an exfoliant so i've been using this now you can see a fair bit of it's gone i've been using this sort of two to three times a week depending on how my skin's feeling it's basically packed with all the exfoliating acids that you need. So it contains glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and I really, really like this. This is really good for evening out skin texture, any bumps, any kind of like post spot blemishes, any acne marks, um, any sort of hyperpigmentation. Not in the short run, it takes a long time for it to do that. So. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's faded any marks because it hasn't yet. I've not been using it for long enough. However, short term, been really, really liking this. Love the way it makes my skin feel. I really do feel like my skin is exfoliated and kind of like declogged, if that makes sense. I feel like my pores are really clean. You know, sometimes when you use a really good exfoliant and you can't see your pores anymore because they're not blocked. That's how this makes my skin feel. If you do have um, kind of like problems with large pores or your pores look particularly open, I have that sort of around here and around my nose. So it does minimise the visibility of your pores. Um, but yeah, been really, really liking this. So I had to include it in this video. By the way, if you are going to use this, just use it at night time. Don't use it every night. But yeah, other than that, it's great. Absolutely love it. Next up, while we're on skincare, I need to show you a cleanser that I've really been liking. So this is from Fresh, and it's the Soy Face Cleanser. I have been really enjoying this. So if you've watched my skincare videos, or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I really, really like the La roche Posay cleanser. It's like my holy grail. I keep coming back to it over and over again. However, I'd seen really, really good reviews about this one. So I thought I'd give it a go, and I really really love it i don't know if i'd say it's any better than the la roche posay one but it's definitely no worse i'd say they're on par they're on a level i just really really love this it's for all skin types as well which is brilliant i love the smell of it it's not like overly fragranced but it does have a really fresh i'd say almost like cucumbery smell so it just leaves my face feeling like i've been to a spa really really nice doesn't take a lot of scrubbing or effort to clean your face and it doesn't leave your skin feeling like it's been stripped of everything so if you do have dry skin i really really recommend this for you i think you'd really enjoy that if you've got acne prone skin also think this would do really well for you but yeah it's very very rare that i can actually kind of switch up my cleansers because i'm just so so picky so when i tried this one and loved it had to tell you about it because it is really really good okay next up and while we're still kind of on the subject of skin i thought i'd quickly show you these they are my all-time new favorite facial tanning drops yeah i'm gonna say that i absolutely love these please excuse the kind of grubbyish bottle but yeah it is tan and they are well loved so they do get a little bit discolored with a bottle but these are the isle of paradise self tanning drops and i have the shade medium they do do like a shade dark if i'm being completely honest i don't see much color difference between the medium and the dark um that's just me personal preference i feel like the medium give me just as much color as the dark do so yeah i just tend to go for the medium don't know why um but i really really love these these give your face not only do they give your face a really kind of fresh tan color 
They don't make your face feel grubby or dirty. They don't block your pores. They don't break you out. They give your skin an all round, just glowy look. So it genuinely looks like you've just had, you know when you've had that day of lying out in the sun or being on the beach and you come back and you've got that, that post sunbathing glow. That's what these give you. They don't give you like a mattifying tan. It's a really nice glowy tan. So it actually looks really natural and I really like the way these fade. They don't cling to like dry patches or go funky like a few tans I've used really do do that. But yeah, I really, really love these. Um, they make me feel so much more confident as well. You know when you have a no makeup day but you've still got a little bit of colour, you don't quite feel so like death. So really, really recommend these from Isle of Paradise. Love. Okay, I'm going to move on to hair now because I've got a few products to show you for hair. Obviously with lockdown we've not been able to go to salons and I feel like everyone's hair has just taken a bit of a battering to be honest. So I've kind of been trying new hair products and just trying to keep my hair one healthy but also actually still style it and you know have it look presentable because if it was up to me i'd just put my hair in a scruffy bun every day and just let it be but unfortunately doing this job i do have to get on camera so yeah i do like to keep my hair quite healthy and one product that i have really really liked over the last couple of months is from coco and eve and it is their like a virgin hair mask this stuff has been so nice to use on my hair, really been liking it. It contains raw coconut, fig, shea butter, argan oil, all the good stuff that you see in the best masks. And I, the reason I really like this is because my hair texture wise is quite thin and because it's naturally very straight it can also be quite limp. So sometimes when I use hair masks, don't get me wrong, it makes my hair silky and smooth but it kind of weighs it down as well. This won't do that. If you like your hair quite voluminous, you're not going to lose any volume, but you are going to get basically like it says, like a virgin hair. So it's really good for helping damaged hair. If you've got coloured hair like me, like any blonde, that sort of thing, really helps to sort of combat against any damage with that. Heat damage, it's just an all round bit of a hug for your hair basically and I have been really liking it. I mean, I don't know if you can see on this camera but it's quite hard to make blonde hair look shiny but if you can see on here, my hair has just been feeling great and considering I've not had a hair appointment since December and we're now April, I am pretty damn happy with that. So yeah, highly recommend from Coco and Eve. So the way you're supposed to use this is you're supposed to jump in the shower, shampoo your hair, and then towel dry your hair, apply it to your hair, leave it for like five, 10 minutes, and then rinse it out with warm water. I'm not gonna lie, I do leave mine in for a little bit longer. I probably, I probably left this in for an hour and it was bliss. My hair felt like heaven. So yeah, it does recommend five to 10 minutes, but if you do leave it in longer then. You're just gonna get even better hair so yeah okay while i'm talking about hair i mentioned i haven't had a hair appointment since december i didn't have my color done in december either it's actually been well over six months since i had my color done and i've got this product to thank for how well the color is looking so this is the living proof color care whipped glaze this stuff I have been obsessed with. I love it. So it claims to boost colour vibrancy for blondes and highlights and it really does. I was so impressed with this. So yeah, as I said, I've not had a hair appointment for many months now and lockdown has taken its toll, especially for my like blonde bits. So any people that have highlights or blonde in the hair, you'll know my struggle. It goes orange it goes dirty looking um yeah it's it can be quite hard to keep on top of so i gave this a go and honestly really love it dead easy to use so all you do with this is you do your usual shampoo conditioner get out of the shower give your hair a bit of a towel dry and this is almost like a mousse the way it comes out so get quite a generous amount in your hand and just run it through all your hair i'll run it through my fingers and then i'll actually go through with a comb and comb it through i'll give it like five minutes and then you don't need to like rinse it out or anything like that and then you just go in with your hair dryer and dry your hair as normal and it just kind of eliminates any orange or brassy tones it just neutralizes them i can't explain it it's like it almost whitens them but not giving you white hair but it just tones down that orange brassiness and i don't know if you can see with my hair i've got like quite a few different shades of blonde but 
I am pretty happy with how that is looking after the amount of months that it's been. So yeah, if you do have blonde or highlighted hair, highly, highly recommend. Okay, this is a product I don't think I've ever spoken about or showed before. And it's from Amika and it's their Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. So again, this is for your hair and I have just been loving this. So obviously I don't really use this when I've got straight hair like today. Probably should have waved my hair so I could have actually showed you how it worked. But um, I use this when I have my waves. As I said, my hair is quite naturally straight and can be a little bit limp and a bit lifeless. So when I have my waves and I want them quite big and out there and I want them to hold, I always, always, always need to use a texture spray. Now, in the past, I have spoken about the Way texture spray, which I really love and I do still like, but I came across this and then I remembered that it was the same one that my hairdresser actually used when she styled my hair. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a go. I saw it, it was either on Beauty Bay or Cult Beauty. Saw it on there, thought, what the hell? Let's just give it a go. I love it. It might even be taking over the Way spray for me but yeah anyone if you like any texture or really proper like volume in your curls if you do have shorter hair like me and like me you struggle to kind of keep your curls out there definitely 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 recommend this doesn't make your hair sticky doesn't make your hair crispy doesn't weigh your hair down it's just honestly great okay i told you this was going to be a bit of a random mismatch of things but don't know if you've noticed but i've kind of been loving the color pink recently i don't know with like spring in the air and pink's quite a sort of in color now i did not know i'd ever be obsessed with the color pink because it's just not me to be honest but i really like it love this shirt anyway i wanted to kind of like brighten up my dressing room so i've got shelves in my dressing room and i just have like pretty bits on there do you know what i mean like trinkets like candles that kind of thing and then i saw this book and i was like oh my god i need her in my life and it is the YSL catwalk book. I just look how cute. This shade of pink is just to die for. I love the spine of it as well. So I have this just resting like this and I have just a little candle on the top. But I just think this is so, so, so beautiful. It's actually also a really nice book to sit and look through. The images in here are just stunning, all from like the old YSL catwalks. Um, so yeah, it definitely would make a really cute coffee table book for this time of year, just to add a bit of colour to the room. As you can see, my rooms are quite neutral in colour, so I quite like adding a little pop of colour like this. I did actually buy it originally, um, with the intention of putting it in the living room, but then I loved it so much, I was like, no, it's going in my dressing room. So yeah, the YSL catwalk book. Guys, while we're on the subject of pink, I just had to quickly run and fetch this bag. And if you follow me on Instagram, which I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably do, you'd have already seen this and you probably will know the story behind it, but it is this and it's the little pink bag. And it's been my latest obsession. I'll pop in a picture here of me styling it. I've wore it a few times now on my Instagram. And I just think it is the cutest thing ever. It kind of reminds me of like the little Prada bags. This was literally £16 from ASOS. And I just can't believe how cute it is. It's just such an easy way of adding like a pop of colour to a bit of a boring outfit. I mean, I wouldn't probably wear it with the pink shirt. But if I didn't have the shirt on and I just had a black outfit... You can see what I mean. It just adds a cute little playful pop of colour. Yeah, so I'm just going to put it in here because it is definitely one of my current favourites. And if you don't know the story behind it, basically a guy tried to grab it from me while I was in Nottingham and I punched him. So, yeah, I went through a lot of trouble for this £16 little bag. And it just makes me laugh now every time I see it because I'm like, the trauma that that bag has caused, but I'm now never going to get rid of it because... Do you know what? We've been through a lot together. So yeah, I'm putting in this video, my favourite little bag. Okay, next up. And I can't really pick a pair of these to show you. So I'm going to show you three pairs. So these are my shoes I've got from Love Raid. So if you can see, I've got this really cute little orange pair. I've got the nude pair here. And I've got this really cute baby blue pair. You might be wondering why I'm including all three. This is like a favourites video. Alex, just pick your favourite pair. I honestly love the shoes, more specifically 
heels from Love Raid. And I'm not gonna lie, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with heels. Because I'm quite a tall girl, I'm five foot eight. I don't need to wear heels for their height. Like, to be honest, I don't want any more height when I'm going out. But yeah, I do want to wear them because I want to feel and look dressy. So yeah, I don't really like wearing big four, five inch heels because then I just feel like an absolute giant. I'm over six foot tall when I wear them. I don't need it in my life. I really love these Love Raid heels because look at the size of the heel. They're bigger than a kitten heel because I'm not a fan of a kitten heel. They are bigger than a kitten heel, but they're not like skyscraper heels. So they're super comfortable. I don't look like an actual giant beanstalk when I wear them. Um, and they just have so, so many colours, so many designs. You literally sport for choice when you go on the website. I feel like you can tell they're comfortable by just the height, the style. Love them. These orange ones. I can't wait to get out in these i mean how cool are these for like spring summer even for holiday imagine just a really nice white shirt dress as you can tell i'm really loving color right now but yeah if you are a tall girl or even if, if you just like comfy heels don't we all definitely check out love raid for their shoes okay next up i never ever thought that i'd be a tinted moisturizer kind of gal I've always been a bit all or nothing with my makeup, so I either have my makeup done like today or I don't wear any at all. And it used to just be a very, as I said, all or nothing. But now I feel like since lockdown, I've kind of discovered the whole kind of more natural base, just more of like a lighter coverage. And I've really been enjoying it. I feel like the only reason I didn't like it before was because I used to struggle with spots and a little bit of acne. My worst nightmare was like a light base. I wanted them covered. Whereas now my skin has cleared up, I have really just been enjoying my skin again, which feels so nice to say. Um, that sounds a bit weird, but yeah, I've actually been enjoying how products look on my face. I'm not just staring at spots now. So this product I have really, really been loving and it's the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. And I never thought I'd be a tinted moisturiser gal, but this stuff is so, so nice. Um, it does have a little bit of colour to it, so it does give you a little, little bit of coverage, but in no way, shape or form like a foundation. I just really, really love it. I love how my skin looks with it. I can still see my skin, I can see my freckles underneath. If you are looking for a really good tinted moisturiser, highly recommend this. I love wearing this on days I don't want to wear makeup, but... I still kind of want to feel and look presentable so sometimes I'll just wear this and a bit of mascara and I just feel 10 times better do you know what I mean you know you just feel a little bit better than just being completely naked so yeah really recommend okay just while we're on the subject of skin as well I just need to throw this one in there because again a product I never thought I would rant and rave about and it's a liquid blush and this one is from Iconic London and this is their sheer blush in the colour fresh faced which is the colour that I go for all the time I'm wearing it today as well yeah I never used to like blush at all and then I kind of dabbled with like a powder blush and I kind of liked it but I don't know, it just felt a bit intense on me. I felt I felt a little bit like a doll when I wore blush, if that makes sense. I just, I didn't like the whole coloured cheeks. It weren't my thing. Whereas this, I love this and I literally wear this every day now. It just kind of like sinks into your skin. It still leaves that really nice kind of little wash of colour. But it's not like intense in your face. You don't feel like a doll when you wear it. You actually feel like you've got a nice, natural looking flush of colour to your skin. These also go really nicely, again, just over a tinted moisturiser, just to give you a little bit of, just a kiss, just a kiss of colour, do you know what I mean? So yeah, never thought I'd rave about a blush, but really, really been loving this one. So that's it guys, that is everything. That is my current favourites. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more like this. As I said, quite a random array of little bits and bobs, but stuff that I've really been liking and using, but there's just no way to kind of tell you all in one video other than doing it like this. So yeah, let me know if you do wanna see more videos like this. But in the meantime, guys, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.